Welcome to tutorial on installing GEM5, the uh, CPU simulator, inside of the Structural Simulation Toolkit from Sandia. If, we, if you watched our previous video, what we've just done is installed SST 3.0, and we have uh, verified that it works and it's uh, functional. So now we're going to install GEM5 as the next component. In order to do that, I need a few packages. Uh, specific to the GEM5 build. I'm going to retrieve those. So all the assumptions that I'm making are that you've installed CentOS 6.4 64-bit, a fresh, fresh installation, and I'm retrieving these packages on top of a previously installed SST 3.0. So the first, once this finishes, the next thing I'll be doing is editing the LD library path. And then I'm going to uh, make that available to the current session using bash rc with source. Alright, so now I'm going to retrieve the gem5 uh, program from SST. This is a slight, uh, this is a, actually a branch from the gem5 code. Uh, slightly modified to fit into SST. So we're going to extract that. So now I've got the GEM5 uh, folder here and from that we're going to uh, link this portal NIC component. And then we're going to build SS the GEM5 processor simulator. This uses scans. If you've if you've watched my other videos on Gem5, this should be somewhat familiar. We're going to use scans, and we just have a single processor on this machine, so we're only going to take advantage of one of those right now. And this will take a little bit, and I'll come back when this finishes. There we go. Alright, so Scans build just finished, and now we're going to link to that uh, folder. And then we're going to reconfigure SST. So this is the uh, first additional component that we're adding. And all we have, to, we previously installed SST, and now we're going to have it recognize that we have a new component added. So we're going to go through the exact same process we went through to do the initial installation of SST, except with one additional with gem5 command in the configure. So here we've, we still have the with boost, and now we add the with gem5. minute process here to make all again. Alright, so make all just finished and so we're gonna end up with make install. Should only take a few seconds. And what that'll leave us with is Sandia's structural simulation toolkit with the Gem5 processor simulator component installed. So we're pretty happy that we have that working, and now we want to verify that it works. We're going to use a, a simple program uh, that comes with uh, SST, and the location of that, we're going to assign the variable M5EXE. So the location of it is in the SST source directory in the M5C folder, and then we're going to make that available as an, uh, a variable. All right, so just to, to see where it is, I'm going to go into that directory, and we're going to make the, the file. And so now we can run hello, and we'll just see what it does uh, on our real computer here. The important thing that we care about is uh, there starts out with hello Mike and goodbye Mike. 
So here we have hello Mike. This is the beginning of the program. And then goodbye Mike is the end of the, the program. So now we can run that in the SST simulator by using these XML configuration files. So in this folder we see example.xml and example m5.xml. Just take a look in the example. This is a, a non-standard XML content but it's human readable and so we're just going to see that it's calling uh, example m5.xml, that file, and we'll take a look in there. And this is all the parameters that you need to configure SST to run with. And so previously we already assigned this variable m5exe as a, a shell variable and that's what's going to be executed. So now I'm going it, within this XML directory I'm going to call the SST executable and the system description level file is the XML file. Alright, so within the simulator now we've run the hello uh, program and there we see it ending with goodbye Mike.